Hey guys, so you wanted to know kind of where a body is once it's taken into the care of the funeral home. So I'm going to just give a little walk through um, of an edited video showing you some different areas. So this is a removal cot. It is literally just like a hospital cot. The legs break down as you put it into the car and then pop out when you bring it out of the vehicle. And a lot of funeral homes have switched over to using a quilt cover. A little more personal, um, more comfy, homey, especially when you're going into a home, uh, makes all the difference. Some of the cot covers come with a plastic lining underneath, so that way if there is any spills or leakage, um, it is it's, it keeps the cot cover clean. Uh, bodies are typically wrapped in sheets, so um, kind of things are contained that way as well when they're brought from a nursing home especially they're usually wrapped up in a sheet or the hospital so once they're brought back here to the funeral home um, they're typically taken into the preparation room so we will go to the preparation room next and talk about that okay so here is the elevator where um, this is a two-story funeral home so the whole cot with the person on it would be brought up in this elevator and then brought into the prep room. Um, so we spin around here. So prep table, machine, garbage, um, everything you would typically find in a preparation room. Um, then we're going to spin again here. The person would be embalmed and then brought over to this area, kind of dressing area you'll find there's this is a church truck up on its side so the casket would sit on this once it was put down um, the body lift that we've looked at before when you casket and so and then the table is here in the corner if you put it out flat um, that would be what the person is laying on to be dressed and then put in the casket so that's all done up here in the preparation room. Sometimes funeral homes have two rooms that this is done in depending on the space. Um, preparation rooms are all different sizes. I've been in them where literally I could only walk on one side of the table because the table was up against the wall because that's how tight the space was in the room. But I've also been in glorious prep rooms that have two tables, tons of space that they were built to be preparation rooms. Some of the old houses that are converted into funeral homes, it's like a little bathroom or a closet, I swear, that was turned into a prep room. So you encounter all different things. So once the person is ready, then they will go back to the chapel for setup. Um, like I said, this one is a two-story, so we'll go back downstairs for that. Um, but I know I was asked about coolers. Most smaller funeral homes aren't going to have coolers. A high expense running it maintaining it and everything is an expense you don't really need once somebody is embalmed they don't go back in the cooler there's no need because that preservation has taken place if someone needs to be put in a cooler before cremation a lot of crematories have coolers in them that you can um, pay or some of them let you use that space to maintain the body at a certain temperature so um, now, depending on what's going on in the chapel, you may have another visitation or service before someone else. So typically, if you've got the person ready in the casket, they'll, may, they'll remain in the preparation room here. Or they may have another room that someone can, you know, that casket can wait with the person in it until the chapel is free or the visitation room is free. So it just depends on the flow of the building and the space that day and how busy the funeral home is. So next we'll go down to the chapel. All right, so this is the chapel, just a nice big space. Um, you can set up rows of chairs. So if this was a service with a casket, the casket would be up front here between the two candelabra. Um, this is a setup for a memorial service that's for someone who's Catholic. So there's a pray do or kneeler, which is down here, crucifix up top, and then there's a table that the urn would sit on. And so that's what this is set up for. 
So this is kind of the last place then in the funeral home that the person in their casket would be. And the service would happen here, visitation and everything, and then they'd be taken out to the hearse to go to the cemetery or they would go to the crematory, whichever was the final disposition place. Um, so there's not too many places that the person is in the building. There's not like a holding room per se. I would imagine maybe some of the larger funeral homes with a huge volume um, have more of a staging room. So once the preparation is done, maybe they go to a room to be dressed and casketed and then put in another area before they go to be set up in the chapel. Um, I think it just depends on the, the flow of that funeral home and the space that you have. A lot of smaller funeral homes don't have that additional space. You go right from one to the other and into the chapel. So uh, hopefully this answered that question. If there's any part of the process you want me to expound on a little more, I'd be happy to. Thanks guys.